A lot to talk about here today, including what we finally know where Raw is going, and Netflix. it's Netflix. Yes. Yes. You know, on another show, I uh, I thought they were going to go to Amazon Prime, and I did say that but, was that was um, most of the analysts thought Amazon Prime and FX were the two leading candidates. Well, I thought Amazon Prime, and I thought there was a chance that they would make five hundred million a year, and uh, as it turns out, they're making five hundred million a year on Netflix. Yeah, but that's kind of misleading because it's not just like it's the 265 to 500, which sounds like double, because this also includes, you know, international territories and all the rights to uh, pay-per-views outside of um, the United States sure. and Canada, I believe. Well, that likely would have also been the case on Amazon Prime. Um no, because of um, that, they were just going to get raw. Because these, you know, this deal is going to include. This deal is not just United States; it's international. It includes SmackDown and NXT and much of the world. The value is um, the value of the existing deals that goes to five hundred is probably in the three thirty-five million range. So it's about a fifty percent increase, um, which is what they wanted. It wasn't more than they wanted. Um, it wasn't like a. a Financially, it's the deal that they wanted. Um, it's a deal that will not hurt them as far as the stock price goes, but it's not a you know it's not more than they promised either. So it was it was you know anything less than five hundred for everything that they're giving them um, would have been considered a you know would have hurt the stock price a little bit. Although I think that going to Netflix probably alleviates that to a degree because I think that there's people who would go with the idea that Netflix is hotter and growing perhaps more than television would be. Um, On the flip side, this deal, it's technically a 10-year deal, but it can be 15 years. And in 15 years, you know, who knows what rights fees are going to be in 15 years and what inflation is going to be in 15 years. And they're locked into something. Essentially, um, Netflix has the option to keep them at this range for up to 15 years, or they can opt out after five years if they don't like the way it's going. So it's it's called a 10-year deal, but it's really a five-year deal with a 15 with um, 15 uh, uh, years based on what Netflix wants, essentially. 15 years is a long time. That's right. Like, I mean, it's good and it's bad. I mean, the good is is that there's not going to if there's a collapse, they're safe. You know, a collapse. but there's not going to be a collapse, I don't think. Um, there, but if inflation goes through the roof, um, you know, it's 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 not as great as it sounds because you know they've been going with these big increases every five years, and you're not going to be having those that increase for 15, for fifteen years. We're talking a deal that goes through twenty forty. Yeah, and, uh, potentially. potentially, 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 yes. Yeah. What did uh, what did Raw sign for in uh, twenty ten? That that range, uh, twenty ten. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I mean, the the deal that they're on now was two sixty five, and the deal before that was um, I don't even remember the number anymore. Like one one thirty, I think something like that. So imagine if they were still making one thirty today because of a deal. Actually, it would have been less than that because this would have been whenever whatever the uh, twenty, whatever twenty nine, twenty ten, two thousand eleven, whatever that was. I mean, that's a yeah, long time to, uh, yeah, to be there's, locked there's, into there's, a deal. Yeah, it, it it it. But every you know, all of the plat the networks and everything like that are really like looking at trying to get long term deals. I mean, the NFL is in a really long term deal. I mean, the the feeling is is that um, you know you want you know five years goes by real fast. You know what I mean? And it's like you you get the deal, and all of a sudden it's like it's not all that long. You got to negotiate a new deal. Fifteen years then can go by really fast. I mean, this is. Essentially, um, this is the last, the beginning of the last deal that they're going to be doing for my lifetime, probably, or, or close to it, in the sense that, um, you know, the, the ultimate goal is very clear that when the SmackDown and the NXT deal and the Peacock deal are up, um, in theory, because Netflix is already going to have the international rights to all of these shows already, except in the markets where they're locked into a television deal of moving those over and being the home. You know, it's it's the long-term play in theory. Obviously, this is not signed, but you can see by, you know, what they're doing internationally, what the goal would be for the United States when these current deals, which 
haven't even started finish up. Okay, so here's your numbers. 15 years ago, raw domestically, their rights fees were 81 million a year. Okay. And uh, internationally 45 million. So yeah. total it was 127 million a year 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah. So Well, anything uh, else related to the deal and uh, what questions do we have regarding this? Um, I mean, whatever questions you have. I mean, I have some questions um and um you know the uh you know obviously we've got the the Dwayne Johnson thing which is pretty big and there's some Okada rumors which as far as the Okada stuff goes just to get that out of the way um there's nothing that anyone has said to me um today that indicates anything um I know there's a report from Japan um you know I had heard from people who know him a couple of days ago and they said he hadn't decided and those people don't know anything different but it's not like you know they've talked to him in the last two or three days I know from the WWE standpoint nobody's confirmed it um, at all and so I you know I don't know more other than that one report I haven't heard anything I know AEW thought they had him I haven't heard anything from AEW on a, on a you know as far as this goes since this morning either so the Okada thing, I guess we'll just have to uh, wait and see. And Dwayne, you know. So as far as Okada goes, to cut to the chase, nothing has changed. He's still in play. That we know of. I mean, he, yes. we, he, he, he may, you know, that, that story may be premature. Maybe they know something that we don't know. Um, but I certainly couldn't confirm anything from WWE or AEW of any, uh, you know, of any change in anything since the end of last week, since Friday, Saturday. Orange sold the knee, which is... He got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked. Matt Menard on Dynamite. said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's before probably going. ROH. Are you smoking or what's what? happening here? I don't, what the fuck? What is, is going happening? On? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? <laughs> Dude. I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking in this is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors, too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe I open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved? Well, uh, yeah, the sun... Actually, the... No! Old... Oh. Okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.